Hello everybody. I am here even when I am absent. How can that be? It's the magic of technology. That's what it is. So I am going to kind of run through the science lesson with you. These are the things that we're going to do. We are first going to pull out our Simple Machines worksheet. So when I say go, you're going to pull that out. Remember what it was? Uh, we got it in Science Lab and it was that sheet where it had all the Simple Machines and we went on the mini field trip around the building and we identified different things to uh, match with each Simple Machine. Examples, real life examples, okay? So go ahead and get that out right now and please pause video. Okay, so now that you are done discussing that and now that the papers are collected, now I want to go through what I wanted to talk to you about today. And I'm going to do a story with you. It's story time with Mr. Riedel. And I am going to then let you have time to work on brainstorming ideas that you have, okay? Now, this is going to be something um, that you've that makes sense. I, there's been times in class when I have talked about when multiple simple machines are put together. It's called a compound machine, a compound machine. So everybody, go ahead and get out your notebooks right now. So pause video. Okay, now that you have your notebooks out, I want you to write down in your notes uh, this compound machine. Compound machine. And what a compound machine is, a compound machine is multiple simple machines put together. Okay, so two or more simple machines. working together. So please write this down. And this is uh, an example of what you need to be thinking about with our new project. The new project that we are going to do is called Compound Machine Design. So Compound Machine Design is what you are going to be making. You are going to be designing a machine and unfortunately we do not have enough time to build it I would love if we had like two months to devote to simple machines this unit however we only have um, like a week left or a week and a half before the next test so it's really short so all we're gonna have to do is design it okay so we're gonna design it and then we're gonna draw it and um, present it to the class so we're going to put it on the projector and everybody will see each of our designs. And so I'm going to do my example for you. I'm going to um, draw it out for you as if I was presenting it to you. And it has to include all six simple machines. Okay, so that is the specific detail. And at the end, you're going to identify all of the six simple machines uh, in your design. And the coolest thing is, uh, some of you may have heard of Rube Goldberg. Uh, machines. Rube Goldberg are very similar. Um, however, Rube Goldberg don't always um, uh, have all six simple machines in it. So we're going to have this be compound machine design specifically with uh, six simple machines. All right. So here's my compound machine design. And I just wanted to, I just thought of something. And I just thought, okay, I'm going to start on top of a building. So I'm going to build my machine around this building, and I am going to be on the top of it. So I'm going to start by drawing myself on the top of this building. So here I am, and I have to choose a particular task that my machine is going to do. And in order to incorporate a lot of different uh, simple machines in this compound machine, I am going to need to be able to do a certain test. That's what machines do. They do something. Okay, so uh, what my machine is going to do is my machine is going to 
pour milk into my bowl of cereal. Because I am too lazy to pour my own milk, I am going to have the machine do it for me. So here is a bowl of cereal. Uh, it's a strange red cereal. Um, and uh, this cereal is dry right now, okay? Uh, so I just poured my cereal. I'm, I, obviously, I'm too not lazy enough to pour my own cereal, but I'm too lazy enough. Uh, I'm too lazy to pour my own milk, okay? So I need to draw the picture of milk. So here is the picture of milk sitting next to it. And this pitcher of milk is ready to be poured into my cereal. And I don't want to walk on the other side of the table either. That's just too far to walk. So I would much rather stand here with my spoon and uh, let the milk be poured for me. But what I am going to have to do, I am going to have to um, start the machine, okay? And the way that I'm going to start the machine is I'm going to kick it. Like I, like, like I enjoy doing lots of things, I'm going to kick my machine. So I have my big boot on. Here's my boot, and I'm going to kick my machine start uh, to go. Okay, so and I, guess I'm, well, I guess I'll put another shoe on. So here's my other shoe. So I have two shoes on, and I'm going to kick one. Now, the way that I am going to kick it on is, uh, it's not just a button, it is something unique. It is a lever, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kick this lever, and it's going to go up like this. So here's the lever. It is a first-class lever. So I kick it, and then it flips, and what it does is it smashes this little ball here. There's a happens to be a little ball right here and it but it doesn't smash it completely. It <coughs> knocks it so that it goes off of the building. And it goes all the way down to the bottom where there happens to be a trampoline. Now, many of you have trampolines at home, and you know that there's uh, a specific type of simple machine that allows the trampoline to work. And what simple machine is that? Anybody? 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 I don't hear you. Well, maybe it's because you're not here, because I'm filming this by myself. But um, anyway, uh, the simple machine that allows the trampoline to work are the springs, okay? So I'm going to draw little curly springs around the edge of the trampoline. Because remember, a uh, the spiral thing is like a screw, okay? So what I'm going to uh, say, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to label each simple machine as I go along, okay? So for this one, this is my lever, and I could just... Label it nicely, oops, lever. Label it nicely so that I can identify my simple machines. So here's my lever. And I'm going to uh, write a quick description of what goes here, okay? So the lever, it knocks the ball. Lever uh, kicked. Uh, by my foot, knocks, ball, off, roof. Okay, so just a brief uh, phrase of what the purpose of the machine does, okay? This part of the machine, okay? So lever kicked by my foot, knocks, ball, off, roof. So it knocks it down, and then what, come, what happens is down here is... Uh, uh, screw, a screw, so S-C-R-E, 
W. So screw is the next simple machine, and I'm going to point to multiple of them because there's a whole bunch of different screws here. Uh, in a spring, remember it is a inclined plane that is wrapped around a cylinder. In the case of a spring, it isn't wrapped around something because it's usually hollow in the middle. So it is wrapped around an, an invisible, an imaginary uh, cylinder. Okay, so these screws, what I can write is ball lands on trampoline. and uh, springs uh, bounce ball upward. Okay, so the ball lands on the trampoline and the springs bounce the ball upward. And then what happens next is it has to go uh, and as as you can see, I purposefully drew this on a tilt because I always draw it on a tilt. But it comes in handy this time because I know exactly where the ball is going next. So after the ball hits, then the ball goes up here. And it is angled, so it goes up and breaks through the window. Okay? So it breaks through the window and it crashes, so we're going to put in the window, so it crashes through the window, and then uh, the ball just lands somewhere, it doesn't really matter, but, uh, so I'll just make the ball uh, go this way, and then, but what, what I really wanted was the glass, which in the case, in this case, the glass that shatters out, you can tell it has really sharp edges because it comes down here and as the ball goes through the window, the sharp edges of the glass come down and cut a string. Okay, so there happens to be a string. I know it's a very particular machine, but I need my milk poured, right? So it's important. So there's this string that is strung from one end of the building to the other. Okay? So it's just strung from one wall to the other, and <laughs> this is really important because this string is holding up, uh, what have I done so far? Lever screw. Um, oh, and this one is the wedge. So the pieces of glass are the wedge, and they fall, uh, I'm going to put glass falls down uh, to cut the string. Okay, so the wedge comes down because, remember, two inclined planes together go and can cut something that it, uh, because it's sharp or wedge in between something. So in this case, the glass that is coming down is wedging between the, uh, the uh, strands in the string and it is cutting it. Okay, so then it cuts. Uh, also on this string is a uh, bird. And this bird is sitting on this string, and I love drawing birds. They are wonderful. There, okay, there's the bird, and he's sitting on this string, just chilling. And as he's sitting on this string, he does not know it's coming. So this window crashes, the um, uh, wedges in the form of broken glass, come and snap the string. So this string is now snapped and the bird has nowhere to sit. So what's the bird going to do? The bird's going to obviously fly away. So he's going to fly away and it just so happens that there is an open window on this side. Okay, so this window was uh, wide open 
on this side of the building. And uh, it has those, you know, those panels that kind of open to the side and uh, this way and this way. Well, that looks funny. Uh, probably because it's uh, on the inside of the building. Anyway, so there's this open window that this bird is going to fly out of. So he goes this way and he flies out of the building. And so now he's flying off into the distance, right? As the bird leaves the window, it disturbed this windmill. So there's, there's this windmill that was uh, purposefully set up here. And this windmill is shaped like so. Okay, so this windmill, as the bird uh, zooms out of the building because he's so scared, uh, the speed of this bird's wings flapped so much that it turned the windmill. Obviously, this is not a very strong windmill. It's very weak because just the slightest breeze turns it, but that's just what we need. Okay, so what happens is the bird uh, flies past. Okay, so he's still going way off into the distance. So this bird flies away and it turns the windmill. windmill. And the awesome thing about this is that it has a gear and a pulley system that is attached to it like this. And this gear and pulley system is at attached to another gear and pulley system. Uh, and I'll make this one blue. Okay, so it's attached to this one. Remember how we talked about how different gears attach to other gears? So this is an example of a uh, wheel and axle because it's turning like this. So I'm going to put wheel and axle. I can't remember if it's E-L or L-E. I always forget that, but you guys can look it up. So wheel and axle. And uh, so what uh, cut string? Oh, I forgot to write this. So uh, bird flies. Uh, so bird flies past blowing windmill. So the wheel and axle is the windmill as it turns because the axle is right here in the center. The wheel turns around it. And um, as it turns the pulley system, that's going to be what this next one is. So this pulley system, pulley, uh, and it's kind of like, um, you know how pulleys, are, oh, conveyor belts. Uh, so you can kind of call it a conveyor belt, but it's, it's just like a normal belt that is strapped to different gears and different pulleys, okay? So uh, uh, belts turn to crank gear, okay? I, now, I just realized that these pulley system, the pulley system is not uh, long enough, okay? So I'm going to have to add more to it. Uh, but that's the beauty of gears, you can just add more to it, and as long as it, it ha has enough power to it, and that bird was really strong, so I'm going to add another pulley system right here, and it's going to be turning like that, and then... Another one up here. So as these gears are turning with the wheel in it and the axle in the center, as these turn, the conveyor belts are rotating and it is turning this right here. And this actually has a whole bunch of um, little... You know how some conveyor belts have like little uh, mechanisms to hold something in it? Well, these have a whole bunch of balls, okay? 
So these balls are going to be red, and I am going to have these red balls in it, and they are going to serve a particular purpose, and this purpose is to roll. Once they get to the top, they're going to be cranked and uh, moved up the pulley system, and eventually they are going to go down the ramp of milk. And this ramp is going to be located right here on the edge of the table, and the ball is going to roll down and knock over my milk. And uh, I just need to write inclined plane because that's the last one. So right here, inclined plane. And I can write something like ball rolls down ramp, ball rolls uh, down ramp to pour, it should be like knock, to knock the milk into bowl. And through that very specific, very easy to do process, I now get milk into my bowl, and I am a very happy person. Because now I have my milk in my cereal, and I am going to eat it all up, and, be, and it's going to be simply delicious. So, um, I hope that makes sense. I hope it's not too complicated. What do you think? Complicated? Uh, let me review the process. Make sure that I have all of my simple machines in my compound machine design. Okay, so it all started with me being very hungry and lazy. And I have my cereal poured into my bowl, but I didn't want to go around to the other side of the table to pour in my milk. So I have my spoon and a foot. So I kick the lever. The lever knocks the ball off of the roof. And... Uh, lands perfectly onto the trampoline and the screws in the spring they allow the trampoline to bounce the ball up through the window break the window and the wedges the wedge from the sharp edges of the glass come and cut the string that the bird was perched on and the bird was shocked and scared and uh, flies faster than a speeding bullet out the window past the windmill, windmill, and it has enough breeze to turn the windmill. And this windmill, which is an eel, wheel and axle, allows the gears uh, in the pulley system, the belts to crank the gears uh, up, and the pulley moves the gears with the balls on the edge of it, uh, which I probably would have had to put there since I uh, had to make this, this, this machine. But anyway, regardless, just ignore that part. Uh, these balls are going to come and roll down the inclined plane and then knock the milk into the bowl uh, perfectly. So I have a delicious bowl of cereal. So this is what I challenge you. Okay, so now your challenge is to create your own compound machine design. Uh, yes, you have to have all six of the simple machines. Lever, screw, Wedge, wheel and axle, pulley, and inclined plane. All six of them, and they have to be included in some way in your design, okay? So these are the things that you need to have. You need to have a purpose for what, uh, what, like what's it doing? What's the machine doing? You have to have a purpose. Oh, I forgot the title. You have to have a title of the machine also. The Milk Pourer 3000. So the Milk Pourer 3000 is the name of my machine. And so you need to have all six simple machines. You need to have the title. You need to have the purpose for what it does. And when you come up here and present it, you are uh, going to need to lead us through it. Because obviously, 
it's going to be a little confusing for some people, okay? Uh, especially when you get creative. And that's what I want, creativity, okay? Um, you can use different types of simple machines. You can, uh, first screw, you don't have to do a spring. You can do something like a, you know, spiral staircase, or you can do something like we saw around the building. Uh, what do we see around the building? Oh, like the, the spiral um, thing out on the playground, or like a spiral slide or something, uh, stuff like that. Or you can do an actual screw. Like, let's say you build a machine and it has, it has to have a screw that's in it. Um, so that works too, okay? So it just has to incorporate it in some way. Um, so uh, you need a title, you need the process, you need to identify which uh, step has each simple machine, okay? And uh, then you're gonna present it, okay? So uh, what you can work on right now is you can work on your rough draft. Now right now, as you can see, looking at this, I am now behind the camera, and I can see that I am going to want to uh, redraw that so it's a little bit nicer. Um, so this would be my rough draft, okay? So you're going to have a few days to work on this. Uh, you're going to have the rest of the time in class. And then you, uh, so you can do your rough draft first. And then I want your final draft to be nice. I want it to be in pen, not in pencil. I want it to um, be... Add a little bit of color, you know, color is nice, it's just not black and white, that's not very interesting, okay. Um, and then also, uh, we're going to mount it on some, like, you know, construction paper so that it, it looks nice, okay. And I can get it laminated if you want to, but we, we don't have to, um, but that's up to you. Um, some of them, uh, I did this last year, and some of them turned out really nice, and uh, they were really fun to uh, read and share, because they were really creative, so... Um, so if you have any questions, you can ask me tomorrow. I'll be back tomorrow. And, uh, but you can work on your rough draft now and, um, have fun. Should be a fun project. Enjoy.